Amongst the forthcoming films, Ungli is uh, one film that is keenly anticipated. So, uh, could you tell us something about it? Uh, Now it's releasing in, no in November, on I think 21st of November. It's a vigilante film. It's got its elements of thrill. It's got the masala angle. It's got your dialogue bazi. It's got all those elements in the film. It's got me doing stuff that people like me doing. All those elements are there. Um, but I think that's all I can tell you right now because we have to get to the promotion of the film and get to a release date finally. And trailer has to come out. Then I can start talking in detail about it. And Hamari Adhuri Kani, I, I I believe you guys start shooting in September. Yes, I start shooting on the twenty fifth of September. We wrap it by early next year, Ma Jan, Feb, March, one of those months, and then we uh, release it mid next year. Right. So, uh, looking forward to working with Mohit Suri once again. Yes, of course. From what you last worked with him and what what he's uh, suddenly become like a like a brand in his own way. In yeah. So, uh, is, is there any any change of perception yeah, that yeah, you guys have? Yeah, of course. Have? I still look at him the way I used to. Obviously, he's done very well for himself. He's had successful films. Hamari Adhuri Kani is a very mature film. It's very good for him. It's very good for me as a film. The narrative is very good. It's a subject that's very close to Bharat Sahib's heart. I've never seen him this way with any story. He's brought a lot of things from his life in this. Whenever he does that, the film becomes very special. And he's done this with very few films in his life. He's done it with the Zakham. He's brought moments from our family into this film. The instances that he's seen. There have been a lot of upheavals. Moments in the past three years in my life, I right. personally, right, 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 right. So we incorporated a lot of things in that f in this film. So for emotional reason, that film is very close to all our hearts. Okay, coming to the uh, the emotional appeals that that you that you spoke about. Um, now, how's your son? First of all, he's doing fine. He's going to school now, and uh, I got him back from Toronto now, a month back, two months back. So yeah, he's doing good. Like um, finally, what has been uh, the biggest learning experience for you as far as uh, this entire experience of? Just uh, a, a child and uh, such uh, such a thing happening and yeah, it's, it's the worst thing that could happen to anyone. It's um, you know a terminal illness like this and seeing and, and upsetting things and just completely turning things around uh, for any parent. But you have to understand that you know there's a certain amount of hope that takes you through this. There's a certain amount of courage that you feel that you don't have and the strength and that uh, and you push and you hurl yourself and you. So past those things, and we have seen it as a family. We have been through this for the past six months, and we have overcome it. It changes you. I don't know how it changes you, but it changes you in a very. Uh, it's like a. It's a new kind of normal that I'm feeling post a situation like this. I can't really define it. I, I've been through it, and uh, it's, it's getting through a, a huge problem. And I think everything in life seems a bit muted after that. It feels that like if agar ap is ko overcome kar sakte ho, you can overcome anything. After something of this sort, uh, you come, you come and do, um, you become an act in movies. You do promotions. You're expected to be humorous, and you're asked all sorts of questions, um, which can be frivolous at times as well. Yeah. Uh, what is what what is your mind space like? Well, humor comes out much easily when you've been uh, when you've been through a situation like this, because it's the humor that gets you through this. Uh, you find humor in things. I don't know. It's very absurd, but. When my son was diagnosed and he was operated for the first time, in two days of his diagnosis, we found humor in a few things in the hospital. I mean, that's how you go through these instances, right. and you laugh in the situation. You feel you'll cry through it for the entire well, couple of months, but there are moments when you find that. And then, obviously, there's real life. There's your needs, your your profession, your ambition, and everything has to be given that much time. Because everything is interlinked, right? So the toughest thing was leaving him there for his treatment in Toronto and coming back, and uh, then doing things like a machine here, like I'm supposed to do, which is I've, I'm, I've got responsibilities, my career to my producers. That was the toughest thing. I mean, I didn't get sleep for like two weeks after I came back because you know leaving him for his treatment there and coming here and then working and being away, 18 hours away from him by flight, and then coming here and working is the is the toughest part. And are you doing um, a film based on a, a, a biopic of Azharuddin? By any chance? Are you, are you We're planning it? that out. We're planning that out. We still uh, have to. Uh, um, script has been written. Things will come together. We'll make an announcement shortly. All right. So uh, thank you very much for being on Bollywood Amma Imran once again, and uh, looking forward to Rajan Atwalal only and uh, all your future ventures. And uh, we hope that uh, uh, your son gets gets well completely and enjoys the entire school experience and uh, he lives happily af ever after. For a, for a long long time to come and uh, thank you very much man thanks thank you that's all we from boring ama keep on watching <laughs>